Hi everybody and welcome back to Enjoying Life with Mrs. A. I'm Mrs. A and today's lesson is about two words that my students find completely, utterly confusing. And these words are addictive and addicting. <sighs> and we suffer. Both addictive and addicting are correct. And although many people say addicting is not a word, I'd like to remind everyone that English is a language that is constantly evolving. And contrary to other languages that are not as open or as quick to accept new words or words from very different linguistic backgrounds, English as a language is extremely open to embracing new terminology. An addict is a person who is addicted to something. Well, of course, it can be drugs or alcohol or, I don't know, coffee, but you can also use it figuratively to express something that you really love. For example, I'm addicted to Marvel movies. So this means I really love Marvel movies, superheroes and all that. I can say I'm addicted to ice cream. What does this mean? I really, really, really love ice cream. Now, addictive is an adjective used to describe nouns. Let's think about coffee. How is coffee? Well, coffee can be dark, sweet, but it can also be addictive, which means it has the property of making you addicted to coffee. All the words that are used to describe nouns, in this case, are coffee, are called adjectives. And you'll always use the word addictive as an adjective. Coffee is addictive. Marvel movies are addictive. I am addicted to Marvel movies. A TV show can be addictive if it's really good and you really click with it. A novel can be addictive. So on one hand, we have addictive, adjective, and we have addicting to be addicting, which started out as a verb. Let me give you some examples in a sentence. Some soft drugs can improve certain medical conditions without addicting the patients. Or sleeping pills are addicting young adults more than seniors. Now, this is just an example. These sentences are not necessarily correct, but just for you to see addicting in a sentence. So why did this confusion happen in the first place? Why are people using addicting instead of addictive? Well, the answer has been lying under our noses the whole time. Because English is a beautiful language with many adjectives ending in ing. Have a look over here. You have so many examples of adjectives ending in ing, exciting, boring, confusing, inspiring, exciting. All these are adjectives ending in ing and people have always used them this way. The list of adjectives ending in ing is so long. So why should it be addictive instead of addicting, which for many is the obvious logical choice? And some people started using addicting instead of addictive in articles, novels, in spoken English, until addicting became accepted as the informal version of addictive and even introduced in dictionaries as a proper alternative. What happened to the word addicting is something that makes language experts cringe while the rest of the population just embraces the version they're more comfortable with. And it has happened before with many, many other words that are now accepted as proper version. For example, sneaked versus snuck. I have a whole other video on that one, but just to keep that in mind. Nowadays, there is still a battle between addictive and addicting. Until then, Use the version that you're more comfortable with, but pay attention that not everyone is very accepting of the word addicting as an adjective yet. And if you liked the lesson today, remember to like and subscribe and tell me 
Which of these words sounds more familiar to you? Let's do a social study below and tell me what word you're more comfortable with. If you'd like me to explain more confusing words, let me know down in the comments and please feel free to suggest any topic you'd like to see. Remember that today's video was sponsored by EnjoyEnglish.es, the academy that brings the teacher to you if you live in Pamplona, Saragossa or Valencia. For online classes in the rest of the world, don't be shy to contact them. Thank you so much for being with me today and I'll see you next Monday with a new video. Bye!